Herbo and Brayblade specialist sellers on eBay. Today I'm going to cover replacing the rear boot and drum feed screw boot. I've got another video showing how to get the drum gearbox loose. That's pretty much all there is to replace a feed screw boot. Of course, replacing the uh, spindle boot is a little more involved. On your 4000s, there should be a spring ring that helps retain the boot inside the drum lock clamp. You need to pull that out. You use a quarter inch Allen wrench. That's cute, that one's bent. It's a quarter inch Allen wrench. and take the drum lock clamp off. And then go ahead and pull that boot. Just like the front ones, you're going to want to give it a wipe, look for any trap moisture, rust, excessive oil, because that would indicate a failed seal. We do have those seals available also. And to get this boot back on, it's just sort of like the front one. Get that into place. Get that edge started. And again, this boot hook was homemade from a hitch pin. Amco suggests using screwdrivers. I had pretty good success with an Allen wrench that I had bent into a Z shape before making the one out of the hitch pin. You just need to make sure that the edge isn't so sharp you're tearing through the boot before you're able to pull it into place. So you got the back edge in place. Don't forget your spring ring. drum lock clamp. We also sell these. This is a replacement. Sometimes they break. Need the quarter inch. all the pieces of the drum box lined up where they go. Start screwing that in. And just sort of give that the wiggle jiggle and get it put back together. Once you get done, don't forget to tighten up your set screw and reassemble your clamp. Thank you.